It's a tedious hobby, but David Rose doesn't mind. Building miniature ships keeps his hands occupied, he says, something cigarettes did for the last 40 years. And between his three-pack-a-day habit and his job working with asbestos in the pit of a steel mill, David was living a risky life. When I got down the pit with a broom and slept all this stuff up to the end and shoveled it out with a shovel, I lived in a cloud of asbestos for year and a half. Eventually, David developed lung cancer, but because he caught it early, his doctors were able to remove it. And to keep it from coming back, scientists at Roswell Park Cancer Institute in Buffalo, New York, are trying a new approach. They're giving patients high doses of vitamin D after noticing how potent it could be in the lab. In cancer cells grown in the lab, as well as in animal models, that it can actually stop cells from dividing and growing and spreading. Which is crucial for lung cancer patients. By the time many are diagnosed, the disease is already advanced and treatment options are limited. But in the future, this common vitamin may offer patients new hope. With an agent that's shown as much activity as vitamin D, that in this population, we have an opportunity to slow the progression to lung cancer and maybe reverse it. David has signed up for the study in an effort to both keep his lung cancer in check and to help doctors in their efforts to build new defenses against this deadly disease. At Roswell Park Cancer Institute in Buffalo, New York, this is Clark Powell reporting.